Los Angeles, app, a huge Pacific storm that parked itself over Southern California and unloaded, ravaging roads, opening sinkholes and leading to the deaths of at least three people, eased off Saturday. But it was only a temporary reprieve as new storms took aim farther north. The National Weather Service predicted drying weather through Sunday followed by the return of wet weather in the region. But while flash flood watches for Southern California were cancelled, Northern California and the San Francisco Bay Area were facing a weekend return of heavy rain and winds that lashed them earlier in the week before the storm moves out. Authorities said the San Joaquin River is reaching flood stage and they are warning residents in Monteca to be ready to evacuate in case it reaches dangerous levels. Stronger southerly winds and widespread flooding will be likely as an atmospheric river, of moisture, takes aim somewhere along the central California coast, a weather statement warned. The approaching rain could cause more problems in the far north, where damage to spillways of the Lake Oroville Dam forced the evacuation of 188,000 people last weekend. Inspectors examine a sinkhole on Saturday, February 18, 2017, in Studio City, north of Los Angeles, California, California. Two vehicles fell into the 20-foot sinkhole on Friday night and firefighters had to rescue one woman who escaped her car but was found standing on her overturned vehicle. A fallen tree crushes a car outside a residence on Saturday, February 18, 2017, in Sherman Oaks section of Los Angeles. A huge Pacific storm parked itself over Southern California and unloaded ravaging roads and opening sinkholes. A woman with her dog stops to look at a fallen tree that crushed a car Saturday, February 18, 2017, in Sherman Oaks section of Los Angeles. A huge Pacific storm parked itself over Southern California and unloaded, ravaging roads and opening sinkholes. A bicyclist rides along a flooded street as a powerful storm moves across Southern California on February 17, 2017 in Sun Valley. California. A man struggles against gusty wind and heavy rain as he walks along a pier Friday, February 17, 2017, in Huntington Beach, California. A woman holds her umbrella in the wind and rain in Los Angeles, February 17, 2017. Hesperia Unified School District maintenance and operations staff cut away a tree which fell on a car at Kingston Elementary School in Hesperia, California. On Friday, February 17, 2017, Rita Masono, Wright, and Lars Seltzer make their way through heavy rain and gusty wind as they walk along a pier February 17, 2017, in Huntington Beach, California. Police arrive at a badly damaged apartment building after a 75-foot tall tree crashed onto it as the strongest storm in six years slams Los Angeles on February 17, 2017. A pedestrian uses an umbrella as the strongest storm in six years slammed Southern California, in Los Angeles, on February 17, 2017. Cores drive through heavy rain in Los Angeles. February 17, 2017. Mud and debris accumulates behind a barrier in Duarte, California, in a threatened area below a burn area known as the Fish Fire, as a powerful storm moves into Southern California on February 17, 2017. A man boards a bus on a flooded street as a powerful storm moves across Southern California on Friday, February 17, 2017 near Sun Valley. Traffic fords a flooded street as a powerful storm moves across Southern California on Friday, February 17, 2017, in Sun Valley. After years of severe drought, heavy winter rains have come to the state, and with them, the issuance of flash flood watches in Santa Barbara, Ventura and Los Angeles counties, and the evacuation of hundreds of residents from Duarte for fear of flash flooding from areas denuded by a wildfire last year. Waves crash against a pier Friday, February 17, 2017, in Seal Beach, California. A major Pacific storm has unleashed downpours and fierce gusts on Southern California, triggering flash flood warnings and other problems. People walk around a tree branch felled by wind and rain outside a restaurant in Los Angeles on Friday, February 17, 2017. School children race back to their bus after getting caught in heavy rain during a school excursion as the strongest storm in six years slams Los Angeles on Friday, 
February 17, 2017, the Los Angeles County Fire Department patrols Mel Canyon Road, lined with K-rails and other barriers in Duarte, California, in a threatened area below a San Gabriel Mountains burn area known as the Fish Fire, as a powerful storm moves into Southern California Friday. February 17, 2017, the saturated state faces a new round of wet weather that could trigger flooding and a brief flows. A woman braves rain as she walks past a pier Friday, February 17, 2017, in Seal Beach, California. A man dressed in rain gear rides his bike in the rain in downtown Los Angeles on Friday, February 17, 2017. A large eucalypto street toppled onto a carport. Damaging Vehicles in Goleta, California, Friday, February 17, 2017. A powerful Pacific storm blew into Southern and Central California on Friday, unleashing wind-driven heavy rains that forecasters said could become the strongest in years if not decades. Spectators make their way off the golf course after play was suspended during the second round of the Genesis Open Golf Tournament at Riviera Country Club Friday. February 17, 2017, in the Pacific Palisades area of Los Angeles, California Field Services engineers install wood panels to protect homes from mudslides and storm waters ahead of severe weather forecast for the West Coast, according to the National Weather Service, in Duarte, a city about 20 miles, 32 kilometers, east of Los Angeles, Friday, February 17, 2017, in this Friday. February 17, 2017, satellite image released by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, shows a powerful storm beginning to move into California as the saturated state faces a new round of wet weather that could trigger flooding and debris flows around the northern region. The brunt of the storm is expected to affect Southern California starting around midday Friday and into Saturday. Forecasters say rain will also spread into Central California and up to the San Francisco Bay Area. But the National Weather Service says only scattered light showers are occurring in the region north of Sacramento where the damaged Oroville Dam continues to release water in advance of new storms. Traffic makes its way in the rain over the Golden Gate Bridge Friday, February 17, 2017, in San Francisco. A powerful storm is beginning to move into California as the saturated state faces a new round of wet weather that could trigger flooding and debris flows around the northern region. Two women share an umbrella walking in the rain Friday, February 17, 2017, in Sausalito, California. Storm clouds form over the Hollywood Freeway in Los Angeles Friday, February 17, 2017. Chad Adriano fills up sandbags before the weekend storms at the Orange County Fire Authority Station 44 in downtown Seal Beach, California, Thursday, February 16, 2017. The California Department of Water Resources, however, said Saturday night that the level of Lake Oroville continues to fall despite the stormy weather, and the amount of water flowing down the spillway continues to be cut. The amount of water flowing down the spillway has been reduced to 55,000 cubic feet per second, the department said. Earlier this week, outflows were at nearly 100,000 cubic feet per second. Meanwhile, authorities up and down the state were dealing with the fallout, including overflowing creeks. Mudslide threats in foothill areas denuded by previous fires, road collapses and hundreds of topmill trees in neighborhoods. Northwest of Sacramento, nearly 200 people were evacuated Saturday as overflowing creeks turned the town of Maxwell into a brown pond, with some homes getting two feet of water. Fire Chief Kenny Cohen said nearly 100 homes and the elementary school filled with a couple inches of water before the water began receding. The area received about three inches of rain as of Saturday morning. No injuries were reported. Sherry Azevedo said her garage had two feet of water, but her home had been spared Saturday. Others on her block and nearby were not as lucky, as all of them were evacuated. It is heartbreaking she told the San Francisco Chronicle. Southern California appeared to dodge any major disasters, but in the desert town of Victorville, several cars were washed down a flooded street, and one man was found dead in a submerged vehicle after others were rescued, San Bernardino County Fire spokesman Eric Sherwin said. And in the Sherman Oaks area of Los Angeles, a man was electrocuted when a tree falling in heavy rain downed power lines that hit his car. On Saturday, 
searchers found the body of a man in his 20s who was swept down a rain-swollen gully in Thousand Oaks a day earlier.